And Keith, to be clear, no one was hurt. The homeowner wasn't home, returned Monday to find her place ransacked, so she went to her surveillance video. Could not believe what she saw. It was just that cubby that he crawled through. More like a slither, this stealthy shimmy. Semantics aside, quite the contortion. But it's only like 10 inches tall by a foot and a half wide. Too clawful, this cattail. He actually broke my wooden fence like three panels and just busted them and climbed through the fence. Lawed his way in as ring camera footage confirms. The homeowner says the intruder's entryway of choice was the cat flap she has out back. These pictures show how narrow a threshold, but somehow catholicism purred supreme. He came inside the, the cat enclosure, busted out the cat flap, and like peeled up the window screen and came in that way. Another camera shot offers an obstructed view of the intruder inside. The homeowner says he tipped over the camera, but it caught some of his stay as he showered. Eight. The ramen noodles, he had eaten that. And then he had eaten some like fried chicken nuggets I had in my freezer. Made out like a fat. Eh. Enough already. Why would it estimate maybe like three hours if he was here? The homeowner showed this video to Houston police who recognized the intruder, although tonight HPD tells KPRC2 there hasn't been an arrest. Maybe whisker in the catnip? I didn't think he'd be able to get through that little cubby, but he squeezed himself in. Yeah, believe you me, can't make this stuff up. So was anything stolen? The homeowner says she reviewed her surveillance video to see that he had tried to take her television, but she had anti-theft locks on it. So he didn't take the TV, but he did get away with a Fitbit. We're live in Montrose. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC2 News.